welcome back to the two-way report. In this video, we'll talk about what is possibly the worst piece of anti-two-way legislation that has ever been proposed, passed, and implemented. It pertains to a significant new gun control package that includes a unique amendment that prevents anyone from legally challenging it. But before we get to that, let's talk about Oregon's Measure 114 real quick. Measure 114 aka the Changes to Firearm Ownership and Purchase Requirements Initiative has caused quite a stir. It was approved by Oregon voters in November 2022, albeit by an incredibly slim margin of just 7 tenths of a percent. The measure seeks to make significant changes to existing gun laws in the state, including the requirement for a permit to purchase or acquire firearms and the prohibition of magazines with a capacity of more than 10 rounds of ammunition. The implementation of these changes is a major concern, as it could have serious implications for our Second Amendment rights. It goes too far and infringes on the rights of law-abiding citizens to own and use firearms responsibly. Fortunately, organizations like the Gun Owners of America or GOA and others have been successful in blocking Measure 114 from being fully implemented due to a variety of reasons including procedural, funding, and constitutional grounds. As a result, the detrimental effects of Measure 114 have been prevented from taking hold. However, this has not stopped proponents of gun control from introducing Senate Bill 348, which not only mirrors the provisions of Measure 114, but also expands upon them. This new bill poses an even greater threat to the rights of gun owners in Oregon. And yet, the most concerning aspect of Senate Bill 348 is not even its content, but rather an insidious amendment that strips away the ability for legal challenges against the bill. This amendment effectively silences any opposition and allows the bill to pass without question removing the checks and balances that are essential to a democratic society. This new amendment states that if you want to challenge Senate Bill 348, you have to go through the Marion County Court, which is known for being the most progressive slash liberal anti-gun county in the state of Oregon. This means that gun rights activists and groups will have to fight this bill in a court that may not necessarily be sympathetic to their cause. This is a blatant attempt to stifle opposition and control the narrative of the debate. It's a clear example of the government trying to limit the constitutional rights of its citizens by taking away their ability to fight for those rights. This is a dangerous precedent that could have far-reaching consequences for the future of gun ownership in Oregon and beyond. It's important that we stand up against this kind of overreach and ensure that our voices are heard. This new amendment added to Senate Bill 348 is an egregious violation of the constitutional rights of Oregon citizens. By forcing all challenges to the bill to go through Marion County, again the most anti-gun county in Oregon, it essentially creates a rigged system that is set up to ensure that any challenges will fail. This is not only unfair, but it also goes against the very principles of democracy and the rule of law. It's deeply concerning that the state government is actively working to eliminate any chances for legal challenges and to push through their own agenda at all costs, even if it means trampling on the rights of their own citizens. It's a clear indication that those in power are not interested in listening to the will of the people or upholding the constitution, but rather in consolidating their own power and control. This amendment, if passed, would start a catastrophe of epic proportions and erode the very foundation of our democracy. With that being said, let's quickly discuss the details of Senate Bill 348 and what it entails. Senate Bill 348 is a proposed legislation in the state of Oregon that seeks to expand and strengthen the gun control measures outlined in the previously passed Measure 114, also known as the Changes to Firearm Ownership and Purchase Requirements Initiative. SB 348 is in a lot of ways the same as Measure 114, but it adds an amendment that limits the ability to challenge the law to a specific county in Oregon, making it harder for opponents to mount legal challenges. SB 348 will require a permit to purchase or acquire firearms and prohibit the sale, transfer, and importation of magazines that can hold more than 10 rounds of ammunition. Additionally, SB 348 would raise the fees for obtaining a permit to purchase firearms. Let's delve deeper into the financial implications of Senate Bill 348. Initially, the fee to acquire a permit under Measure 114 was set at $65. But with the introduction of SB 348, the government plans to charge a whopping $150 for the same permit. To make matters worse, if an individual wants to renew their permit, they will still have to pay $110. This means that a person would have to shell out a total of $260. $150 for the initial permit, $110 for renewal, just to exercise their right to keep and bear arms. 
But this exorbitant cost begs the question, is it really a right if it can be taken away or granted by the government for such a high price? The exorbitant fees eliminate the constitutional right to keep and bear arms and change it to a privilege. Thus, SB 348 and Measure 114 are alarming developments that raise concerns about the government's ability to infringe on citizens' rights. It is worth noting that Senate Bill 348 not only mirrors Measure 114, but it also expands on it and clarifies some aspects of it. Despite this, the bill is still largely the same as Measure 114, with the addition of the controversial amendment that restricts legal challenges to Marion County. This means that those who wish to challenge the legislation will no longer have the option to choose a more conservative county to file their challenge in. Instead, they will have to go through the judges in Marion County, which is again considered the most liberal county in Oregon. This limits the chances of success for those who oppose the bill and essentially removes any chance of obtaining an injunction to stop the implementation of the bill. In other words, the state is trying to eliminate any legal challenge to the implementation of the bill. They want to ensure that the bill passes and is implemented without any obstacles or delays. They're doing this by forcing any legal challenges to go through a specific county with a liberal judiciary which greatly reduces the chances of any injunction or holds being placed on the implementation of the bill. The state is essentially trying to control all aspects of the process, leaving us, citizens, with very few options to fight back against this infringement on our Second Amendment rights. By putting the bill through the most liberal court in the state, the legislators are essentially taking away any opportunity for individuals or groups to challenge it in a more conservative county. This tactic is designed to guarantee that the bill is implemented without any legal challenges. This move shows the lengths to which gun control advocates are willing to go to ensure that their policies are enacted, regardless of the impact on individual rights. It also highlights the need for vigilant citizens to stay informed and engaged in the legislative process to ensure that their voices are heard and their rights are protected. The actions of Oregon lawmakers in pushing SB 348 through the legislative process despite widespread opposition and legal challenges to similar measures is quite disturbing. It is clear that they are willing to sacrifice the fundamental rights of their citizens in order to advance their political agenda. The fact that the amendment added to the bill effectively blocks any legal challenges, regardless of their merit or constitutionality, is a blatant violation of due process and the rule of law. It also raises serious questions about the motives of those who are pushing this legislation. It is important to remember that the Second Amendment is not just about owning guns. It is about preserving the ability of citizens to defend themselves and their families from harm. By making it more difficult and expensive to exercise this right, lawmakers are effectively taking away the ability of many law-abiding citizens to protect themselves. It is also important to note that the fees associated with obtaining a permit to purchase a firearm will disproportionately impact low-income individuals who may not have the means to pay for such fees. All of these factors point to a larger trend of government overreach and erosion of our Second Amendment rights. It is important for citizens to remain vigilant and hold their elected officials accountable for their actions. We must continue to fight for our Second Amendment rights and push against any attempts to undermine them. It's important to understand that choosing a county for legal challenges has been a common practice in the United States since its formation. It's a strategic move to find a friendly county to file your case and work your way through the legal process. However, Oregon is trying to disrupt this practice with Senate Bill 34A. And we've reached the end of this video. If you care about your rights under the Second Amendment, or if you have families and or friends in Oregon who you know will be affected by Senate Bill 348, spread awareness by sharing this video with them. Please help the channel grow by clicking on the like, share, and subscribe buttons. And click on that notification bell too while you're at it. Thanks and have a good one.